Welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. That's my oldest son, Derek Jones, and I've also got Chad Jones, my youngest son, on board as well. We are outside of Deer Island, between Deer Island and Horn Island, doing a shakedown run, a little sea trial on the SV Southern Lady. And we're just trying to figure out anything that might be wrong. If it's an issue, go ahead and take care of it. And that's what this run's about. We've been running about two hours. We do have an issue with the main cell. We were able to get the Genoa out, no problem. It has roller ferns on that. Main saw something was hanging it up, so we got to investigate that. But this is a cooking video, so what we're doing now is we're gonna run back on the north side of Deer Island. We're gonna anchor off in some calm water. I'm gonna be doing a New Orleans style barbecue shrimp, which has absolutely nothing to do with the grill or barbecue as you know it. Let's get this show started right now. Before we get started with this cook, I want to show you a new knife I got that was sent to me by Edge of Balgravia. And it's really cool looking. And it's uh, made of Japanese steel. Anyway, it's called the, if you'll look right here, it is called the Kuroi Hana, the Black Flower Japanese Steel Chef Knife 6 inch. The Edge of Balgravia, they make a lot of different knives. I'll have a link in the description. You can see all these different knives, but they wanted me to show this particular one because it was really popular on their Kickstarter program with over 7,000 backers. Now let me show you what the actual knife looks like. Japanese steel. This is actually made in Japan. I'm talking about the steel, not the knife. It's a London design, but it is made in China. Beautiful knife razor sharp edge. I was very impressed with this edge when I first received this. Beautiful knife. So the deal is they're producing a second batch of these knives. They will be available in October 2018 but you can pre-order all the way up to February the 28th. That's the reason I wanted to hurry up and get this video out showing this knife. If you want to add this to your kitchen collection, which it would make a really nice one, I would uh, encourage you to go over there and check it out. I'll have a link in the description box where you can pre-order this and it'll actually be shipped out in October of this year. All right, so I've got some fresh Gulf shrimp. This looks to be a, like a 16, 20 count. I'm gonna take these shears and go right behind the head. I'm going to take and split this all the way down to the tail. And we're doing this for two reasons. Not only will it give you access into the vein, which I'm not really even seeing a vein in this particular shrimp, but it also allows for all the seasonings to get in on the meat. Barbecue shrimp, New Orleans barbecue shrimp, man, I tell you what, it is my all-time favorite way to do shrimp. I love them fried, I love them boiled, but this has got to have it by all. There's that vein, I see it now. It ain't much of a vein. It's right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all these, gonna rinse them off and clean them, get the whole thing done. I'll bring you back here in a few minutes and we'll show you how to put this recipe together. Well, as you can see, the boat is rocking because the butter is moving back and forth. We just had a boat come flying through here. Just giving all kinds of respect. Don't you love that? All right, so I'm melting one and about three quarters stick of butter. This is unsalted butter. And the reason I'm using unsalted butter is because I have a select amount of seasonings going in this barbecue seasoning. And I'll explain about that here in one moment. I'm gonna go ahead and add these seasonings in while this butter continues to melt. I'll have all the ingredients for this particular mixture of seasonings in the description box. I pre-mixed all these. 
I can tell you this, it's very prevalent in black pepper. It also has rosemary, it's got oregano, it, it's got a lot of different things and it's absolutely delicious. I'm going to turn this heat down just a little bit to a simmer. That's looking good. Oh yeah, it's already smelling good. But yeah, look in the description box and I'll have the recipe for this particular uh, blend of seasonings which turns it into barbecue shrimp. I would love to know how it got its name barbecue shrimp because it has nothing to do with low and slow barbecue or grills or barbecue sauce or anything. It's just what they named it. And uh, don't let the name throw you off. This is absolutely delicious. Right now, I have a combination of two ounces of Worcestershire sauce as well as four ounces of beer. All right, now we're going to go in with this four cloves of minced garlic. We're going to let this run about 30 seconds to maybe a minute. Just all you really want to do is just let that garlic release its oils and flavors. All right, so now we're going to go in with the shrimp. Just want to cook these until they're a nice pink. That's the cool thing about shrimp. They have a built-in thermometer that will let you know when they're ready. Now we'll have to toss and turn these. Of course, I'm gonna turn my heat up just a touch. This video, like most of my videos, is all about the food and about to cook. And if you'd like to see more of the sailing footage from this little sea trial we've done today, go over and check out my son Derek at his YouTube channel, Sailing Southern Lady. He also has a website, coastalboy.com. Same guy, same thing. So he's got a lot of things coming up using the southern lady this this sailboat so i hope you go over there and check him out sub if you like that sort of thing all right we are done and all i'm going to do is just spoon some extra sauce on top of these shrimp that will puddle up in the plate and you talk about good to sop your french bread into all right let's give these a try all right, so let's try one of these shrimp out. Peeling coming right off, perfectly done. Mmm, man. If you ain't never had New Orleans style barbecue shrimp, you gotta give them a try. It is by far one of my all time favorite ways to do shrimp. Hope you enjoyed this video, and like I said, go over there and check out the links in the description box. And until next time, smoke your ribs.